it's me, Mikey Pipes. Hope all is well. Today is Wednesday, June 23rd. Hope everyone's having a blessed and wonderful day. On my way to a service call. It's a uh, carrier rooftop unit for a commercial client. Uh, it's got nice, easy access through a hatch. Not bad. Past several years, uh, we've added a, a couple pounds, respectfully, each of R22, and um, it's probably low again. So, uh, hopefully, I'll get some good video along the way. Maybe I'll convince them to replace the system. Maybe I'll find a leak, or maybe they'll just want me to add R22 again. Let's see. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe along the way. Thank you. Testing your guests. All right, here we are. Carrier rooftop unit, side discharge and supply. I've been here once a year for the past, I don't know, about five years. It's an R22 system. And I keep telling them to replace it, but you know the deal. They don't own the building, so let's do the minimal amount of work as possible. She's not cooling. Let's shut her down and check pressures, check electrical, see what's going on. All right, so at this point, I take off the service panel to access the compressor and the service ports. I hook up my Testo Smart Probes and she's reading around 45 PSI. So I know she's low and I break out the electronic leak detector. Got a new toy from Ellie Tech, a sponsor of the channel, who graciously provided us with this infrared refrigerant leak detector. This is the model ILD200 and it uh, comes with a chargeable battery pretty cool. I just turned it on 30 second warm up time and I'm going to see if we have any leaks. Sensing something already. Right by the unit. Yeah. Interesting. Let's see what we can find. Alright. There's the probe. This thing's going off like crazy. Let me see if I can get to the opposite side and see what we find. Yeah, she's going off like crazy. Let's adjust the sensitivity. And let me just check out the other side. It'd be hard to get in there, but let me see what I can see, what I can do. I'm getting the same reading back behind there. Get the same reading. Ugh, a horrible spot for a coil leak. Uh, when they did the side discharge, kind of made it hard to get in there, but I can hear a leak right there, and I can also see it with my FLIR i7 thermal camera. It's right there. There's my leak. All right, let's get in there. This is not, you hear that? It's where the steel met the copper. Where the steel met the copper, I'm gonna have to cut this because he doesn't want to replace the coil or the unit. And that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Let's see if I can bubble it up now and show you. I hope you guys can see this. See that? See the refrigerant spraying out. Right there. It's 
this first one. That one. This one right here. That one right there. Oh. You see the refrigerant spraying out. All right, I got a quote from Carrier for a new uh, evaporator coil. They want 3,500 bucks plus tax plus freight. <laughs> um, made the customer aware. I was like, listen, option one, we replace the entire unit. Option two, we replace the entire evaporator coil. Option number three, we repair the immediate leak and recharge the system. Of course, went with the cheapest price. Let's go get it. Let's go fix this thing. And real quick, let's talk about this LE Tech thing. Let's put on low sensitivity. See, there's nothing there. Let's go over here. I'm literally on top of it. And it's doing the same thing it did over there. Oh, Ellie Tech, Ellie Tech, Ellie Tech. At the end of the day, there's nothing better than a back rack H10 Pro. Sorry, Ellie Tech. I like your vacuum pumps, but your infrared refrigerant leak detector is FUBAR. FUBAR. Urban Dictionary, or Google it. Figure out what that means, guys. All right, I got my grinder, I got my snips, some grinder blades. I'm gonna do some surgery right now. The pipe doctor is in the house. All right, I got my PPP, I'm sorry, my PPE. I got my brazing rig and I got the work area cleared up. I got a water bottle nearby. And the goal here is to apply a thin layer of the brazing rod on it and uh, seal up that leak. There's an old saying, it's called, we plan and God laughs. I plan to put a little coat of brazing rod on it, but God had other ideas for me today. So now I'm working with that. I gotta carefully cut both of these back and then recreate that circle, that little loop. Wish me luck. All right. Took two attempts. I used the wrong uh, tip at first in the torch. I was using the uh, rosebud tip like an idiot. And of course I burnt a hole through the fitting. So I had to cut back, redo it, and use a smaller tip and throttle down my, uh, my oxy and fuel. But, uh, She's holding at 150 PSI right now. I'll let that sit, vacuum down. And uh, it's a little chewed up there, but given overall condition of the coil, we'll clean this down a little bit, recharge her, button everything back up. Have a nice day. What a beautiful day. Probably around 70 degrees. I got a good steady wind of about maybe 20, 25 miles an hour. Maybe I'm guessing. It just feels nice. See the, the leaves behind me are, are blowing. And right now I'm in the vacuum down process. Let me show you. There's my field piece. This is that HCFM pump that I'd be using. That one. I just got a little creative. The straighter valves didn't want to come out both sides interesting strangely enough they did not want to come out so i had to get a little creative there and i got my my eco tools my blue back plus pro micron gauge there she's pumping down here's my repair and again looks a little ugly but that repair and the process that i'm doing is much cheaper and a brand new rooftop unit, which again, they really need, you know, it is what it is. They do need a new rooftop unit. It's just, it's not going to be today. 
<laughs> I'm gonna put the panels back on and she gets 7.8 pounds of R22. I was able to recover 1.2 of that. And uh, I got the pokey buster out, took out those screws was, that was holding on this plate inside. So I got to put that back together. And again, I got a while to go before I get to 500 microns. And I got the other mic coming to help me out. And this is a pain in the ass to get down there. See? There's my opening. Puts us right in the second floor hallway. Right on Merrick Road. Good stuff. All right. She's been putzing around with me for a while. So let me uh, change the vacuum pump oil on the fly. Crack open that. She's going to train. Perfect. Excellent. Let's close that. Let's open oil fill. Get some new oil ready. Let's take this. Get you in there. Easy peasy. That's one of the most important things about the field piece change the oil on the fly. There's the other mic. Here, I gotta... We'll finish up whatever we have left of these empty, half-empty ones. Sure you got it that way? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Skinny. Yeah. We may have 7.8 pounds enough. She's vacuuming down. All right, vacuumed it down. Took, uh... It took almost an hour to get down to around 400 microns, but I vacuumed it down. It didn't go up past 500 microns. Filled her up with 7.9 pounds of R22, and she's as good as new, almost. Getting it done. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Thank you very much. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.